Hey everybody, it's Sally with Vintage Discoveries here with a uh, vintage jewelry haul and also for sale. I'll give you the price after I'll show you what I got. This is an in earring lot. This is, looks like 1928 pierced earrings. Really pretty and feminine. Look at these adorable clip-on strawberries. I say these because I have both of them as I look for the other one. Okay. These are clip-on. Adorable. I like the backs of these two. The comfort fit. So cute. A little wear on the back. You're not going to see that unless you have eyes behind your head. Um, maybe not even then. But those are adorable. These are Intaglio. Got a little glue on there. Easily taken off. Clip-ons. These are glass, yeah. Clip-on. Really cute. Pretty. These glass ones, if you remember these. Clip-on. Beautiful glass in blues. And we have these. I don't believe these are marked. No. But they have faux pearls and a Aurora Borealis. Then we have these with a really pretty backs. Some shells with faux pearl, I believe. Love those backs. Can you see it? Okay. These... Oops. I don't know if these are, yeah, these are marcasite. I know that they were marked with something. Oh, it says sterling on the back. Those are screw backs. And one more. These clip-ons have some like opal, opaline glass. I'm not sure what that is. It has a lot of flash of purple, but also some blue. So I'm not sure what that glass is. But it's really neat. Those are not marked. Those are very different. So for that beautiful lot, I'm going to do 19 for the whole thing. Getting rid of my smalls. I have this, and I believe this is Bloodstone. It's green with flecks of some red. The pin and screw back earrings. Very organic, natural look to them. And this would be $12 if anybody wants this set. Then we have this art glass ring. It's adjustable. It's not testing silver where they blended it. It's got a little patch, but it's really cool glass. And that would be 18 for that. Super cool with a bubble in the middle. And we have a pendant set. This is a locket. This is also a locket opens up like that another tiny little locket this is a little i think it's faux amethyst a little crab pendant this is a little silver leaf dark blue stone Clear stones with gold tone, pretty. This, I believe, is gold filled. Yeah, this is gold filled. Got this little pendant. I don't think it's marked with anything. This. I don't think that's marked either. <coughs> Sorry about that. Always got to sneeze as soon as I get on here. 
This little guy, really cute. This vintage with hearts and leaves. This is a um, little abalone. Then we have that, the heart with the full pearls. Vintage, of course. This is vintage. That's just kind of like a foil design. Little pendants. Oops, little lockets. This. I love these vintage ones. This little charm. And yeah, this is Monet. Little cowboy hat. Cowgirl hat. This is shrooms, mushrooms. A little heavy. Little vintage. Looks like a chemotite. Could use it as a charm or a pendant. That's pretty hard. Not marked. So for all of that, it would be 28 for those. Then we have a grouping of small pins. This one's neat. This one, if you can see it, it's kind of hard to see, but it's like a horse's head to me, right? It's got a horse. Don't know what it means. And then we have this faux jade elephant. This mother of pearl pin says made in Taiwan. Leaf. We have this, which is two owls from Avon. Some of them don't have the backs on it, but this is that Delft little pin there. Really pretty. I didn't break it. I just threw it down. <laughs> then we have this one adorable for Valentine's Day. Cloisonne uh, cross. A bird of peace. A little blue stone. Angel, kitty, <gasps> big apple, little apple, adorable. I think that's a little bit marked up. It's cute. Come on. Statue of Liberty. It's pretty. Gold and silver. Probably Avon. Cowboy hat or cowgirl hat. It's got a dark red stone. And this is like paste um, stones. Seems pretty old. And some kind of flyer or bee. Which would it be? Bug. And that, all of those would be. 29. Oh, okay. 29. What else do we have? I got that, 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 and that. Okay, good, great. Oh, I, I found these. These, I'm not selling these yet, but do you remember these? The Kobe charms? The J J Japan celluloid charms? I found them. Only because I put them in that case. So cool. I almost forgot about those. But if you're interested in buying any of those items that I showed, just give me an email. Vintage.discovery21 at gmail.com. I'll put it in the description. So, no worries there. I also have this. If anybody's feeling crafty whole bag of vintage brooches that are empty. If you have any extra cameos, anything you might want to put in there. These, that's, you can use as an enhancer. That's a pretty one. This one, oh, okay. 
This one is large. If you have a big cameo or stoned. This one is really old. And it's a... Let me see if it's gold filled. I don't know. Stop dropping. Mm, I don't see any mark on it, but oh my gosh. Look how pretty that is. So pretty. And then you have this old one. It's got a lot going on. Somebody glued something in there, but that glue wasn't good enough. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. So I think a good price would be $16 for those. I think they're beautiful. But what else do I have? Oh, this. It's not silver, but it is cool. It's the Road Runners with the little turquoise colored bead. It's not marked on the back. The chain is long. It's got to be at least 30 inches, but I'll let you know. Yeah, it is 26 inches. And that's ten dollars. Can have that. Now, no, I don't know where I put it. Oh, here it is. I finally found these. For the longest time, I had only had one, and I could swear that I had the other, but couldn't find it. Finally did. I love these. And you know I'm not a red person, but I do love this red and the cluster of it. The beautiful cluster of it. But yeah, finally found these. And they are screwbacks. But if anybody wants these, they're $12. So pretty. I could just imagine them for Christmas. Like, totally. I still have this, guys. I mean, it's a shorty, but it's really beautiful for the fall, Thanksgiving Day, any day. But it's the thermoset with the Aurora Borealis. It's got the hook clasp, and it is short, but you can use an extender. I mean, it's 16 inches. It's average. I guess I think of short as 16, but I guess 14 would be short. But this is 16 inches, and this is 22. So pretty. So I still have that. I have tons of stuff, all right? Still haven't figured out the name on this, and I've gotten a lot of help, but still haven't figured that out. Yeah, it's driving me crazy. But it will continue to drive me crazy. But that's about it for right now. I have, of course, tons more. But I don't want to make the videos too long. Because that could be annoying. So, PayPal only and I'll invoice you. Email me, vintage.discoveries21 at gmail.com. I'll put it in the description. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope to be doing more videos when I can get rid of some of my stuff and unbulk, then I can bring in some new. I can't wait. Thanks for watching.